YouTube family welcome back to my channel if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel my name is Taylor Bob and my channel is on beauty health and fitness and lifestyle now today I started some of my spring cleaning so I'm trying to get rid of some clothes and I thought why not go to Plato's closet and try to get some of these clothes sold I went to Plato's closet a few years ago and I bought a whole bunch of clothes and I remember I made probably like $50 but then I also got a lot of clothes that I was sent back home with um, Plato's closet is pretty cool they do buy back um, accessories clothes shoes and things like that um, but sometimes they are just a little bit too picky um, they don't really like clothes that are old and faded um, they don't like clothes with holes in it anything like that um, they normally pick the clothes that are like top brands and also brands that they can actually sell back in their store Store. so they look for very trendy clothes um and just things that they know will definitely sell in the store um so i got a few things together so i'm just gonna see pretty much is it really worth it to still go to plato's closet nowadays or should i just go drop all my clothes to the goodwill different brands like that so i'm gonna just show you guys kind of what i have and then i guess at the end i can see if it's really worth it um to go to plato's closet or not or just bring your clothes to the goodwill Short. So when I did it for the photo shoot, it was good, but as far as keeping them to wear, like the church and stuff like that, I just don't like them because they're too high water. So. to the store so that's another problem that I have because I don't really try on my clothes and I just expect everything to fit perfectly so I'm gonna have to start trying on my clothes next up I just have this really cute um, plaid shirt and I used to really be into plaid like I used to tie plaid around my waist with every pair of jeans I wore like I was plaid crazy at one point but I'm over that stage now so I'm ready to get rid of all of the plaid matter of fact I think we got one more Never mind, I'm gonna keep the other player just in case I need it to for anything. I'm probably not gonna need it, but I'm gonna just keep it just in case. Um, this is just a plain little dress. This is cute. Um, the only issue I have with this one is that it's too short to wear as a dress, and I honestly don't think I would wear it with jeans. Um, let's see. So this is a little cute top that I use for uh, my Valentine's Day look for class year on YouTube. Um, and this is what I would wear. So it was really cute, nice little shiny shirt that I have bought for those purposes, but I know I'm never going to wear that again. Um, this is kind of like a little tuxedo dress. I had bought this for $6 at one of these shoe places that I go to here in Dallas. Um, but this was also used for a photo shoot, and I know I'm never going to wear it again, um, especially because it's kind of too short. So...
you guys. So, your girl just made it back home, and I am just dying laughing because... Um, overall, I just felt like I had a lot of things, especially, like, all those pairs of jeans that I had. I thought that I was going to get, like, a whole bunch of money, and I had about, what, 45 items. Um, I don't know, somewhere between, like, 35 and 45 items I had total. Um, so, do y'all want the good news or the bad news first? Okay, so I'm going to give y'all the bad news. So, the bad news is that um, I pretty much came home with all my stuff. Um, and the good news is that they actually bought three items, um, which brought in a total of $10 and 50 cents, uh, for those three items combined. Um, and I'll go ahead and show you guys right here, um, basically the three items that they bought. Um, so what they do is basically they put all your clothes back in the bin or the trash bags or anything that you bring them in. And then they have a black bin where they actually put the clothes that they're going to buy back. Um, so she just let me see, you know, which three items they could purchase in the store. Um, and she asked me um, if ten fifty was okay for those three items. And I said, sure. I mean, I'd rather take something than nothing. Um, so I looked over the three items and I basically had to sign my name, basically saying that um, Play-Doh's is paying me ten fifty and I'm selling over my items to them. Um, and then once I signed, she gave me my cash and basically I was out the door. Um, so I was pretty much laughing because like I said, I thought I was going to get like way more money and I thought they were going to buy back way more of my stuff. Um, so basically they say that they buy back, um, basically like trendy stuff and things that they can actually sell in their store and like their top selling things are the things that they mainly buy back. Um, and she was just saying that they had a lot of jeans and a lot of things like that already in the store. Um, but do I recommend Play-Doh's Closet? Yes and no. Um, I feel like if you have a little bit of items and um, they're good name brand, then I think that they'll pretty much buy those items back. But um, each store is kind of different and each store sells differently. So you just want to make sure. Um, I recommend you guys to call and just see exactly what they look for. Uh, that way you won't get your hopes up. So if they are looking for, I don't know, sundresses and sandals, then you'll know just just to bring in those items uh, to be considered and they won't waste a lot of time um, going through the stuff that they don't need to look for if they're not going to buy it back so that's my only recommendation um, about Play-Doh's Closet but I think it was pretty cool just to see um, if they would buy back some of my items I haven't done this in like 10 years um, so yeah so it was pretty cool to do that today um, I just I'm cleaning out my closet y'all I'm trying to just get everything right for this springtime summertime and just doing that you know that spring cleaning that I need to do and straighten up my closet and things like that um, but thank you guys so much for watching my channel and I'm glad that I was able to take you guys along with me today if you guys have any questions on anything I went over today just leave me a comment in the comment box below and I'll be sure to get back to you and remember to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time